There is nothing wrong with your television. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are now controlling the transmission. We control the horizontal and the vertical. We can deluge you with a thousand channels or expand one single image to crystal clarity and beyond. We can shape your vision to anything our imagination can conceive. We will control all that you see and hear. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the deepest inner mind to the Outer Limits. Hi Wendy, I'm Skylo. Can you do a one finger push up? Can you show us? All right, Scott, we'll go ahead and show you what we can do up here, and I'll have uh, astronaut Joe tell you what I'm doing. So he's doing the regular two-handed push-ups like you guys would do down there. Oh, he's getting strong. He can do one arm. Can you do one arm? One finger. I see it. No hands, so yes, to answer your question, yes, you can. It is fun to be up here. Now's a good time to also do some push-ups if you want. You look uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. When can you, can you go this way? Yep. In Houston on two, we are ready to begin the change of command event. All right, well, everyone, welcome on board the International Space Station, ground team, and Toma that actually got us out the door for that EVA to be successful. In addition, we also accomplished a spacewalk. getting a, a repair done on an external MDM. I just gotta get comfortable right here, hold my sword. I'm gonna take a nap right now. Oop. Swords. Now stay over there right now, I'm, I'm fixing something over here. Alright, that's fine. Just make sure nobody can see what you're doing. You're on TV. Okay. <laughs> That MDM uh, failed and we had it repaired within three days. Another amazing event by our teams. In addition, uh, Expedition 51, uh, has uh, Toma was able to grapple the Cygnus vehicle and we unloaded thousands of pounds of cargo and reloaded it with trash uh, during the time frame. The dirty laundry actually gets incinerated in the atmosphere. And, and so Wait a minute, you're kidding? You guys on the space station are throwing your underwear? <laughs> out your dirty underwear out the window and it's raining down on us? And we have accomplished an incredible amount of scientific research during the time of Expedition 51, including my favorite, the osteomics investigation. The European uh, grip and grasp in Mari's experiments. Um, yeah. 
U.S.-Russian uh, fluid shifts investigation. And like every few days, you'd have to get urine in tanks from the Russians, hook it into our system. Wait, they don't need their own? No, they actually throw theirs away. So it's been an incredible invest, uh, time frame for our scientific investigations as well. Until now, Pluto has remained a mystery. <laughs> we are, of course, going to miss Ali and Toma. They are exceptional astronauts. Uh, they are exceptional astronauts uh, in every sense of the word, but mostly we're going to miss their sense of humor and camaraderie. Watch this. Oh, yeah, you are. 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 And now today I hand over to Fyodor, your chicken, the only guy I've flown three times with. <laughs> and uh, so uh, welcome to your command for Expedition 52, Fyodor. Thank you very much, Peggy. Thank you very, very much. And it's a honor for me, again, stay here. Two times honor for me, we continued our great program. The greatest, po for me, it's the greatest po program in the world. Listen, B.O.B., once and for all. We weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you. It's got about 18 million cracks in it. Now, one thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. There's no place to go. There's no place to throw your trash. If I say that the world is round and someone else says it's flat, that's worth reporting. But you might also want to report on a bunch of scientific evidence that seems to support the notion that the world is round. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. The, the only limit to a human future is in our own imagination. Gravity.